Bullying is not an uncommon experience for students, whether at the primary, secondary, or tertiary level. Most students have either endured, perpetrated, or witnessed acts of bullying. Sometimes, that bullying becomes physical and leads to medical emergencies, as in the case of Dominic Alvarado, who broke his hip after he was shoved by another student. Though bullying isn't as prevalent in junior colleges and universities, those students carry the effects of what they experienced or witnessed. Many of them told us today about those experiences. Like, when I was in your first farm, like, so, some students would have come around, they asked for food in our plate, or things like that, both about in our plate. And then, like, if you know, give them the food, they would have like get by your case, you know. Um, I would have said that for my bullying because, like, I pay for my food, why can't you pay for yours, you know? Students would buy lunch and they'd have, like, the senior years, like, senior on, um, you know, Terran Fort Farmers. They're the ones that do most, most of the bullying towards the first and second farmers for their lunch. And whenever, like, they would ask for lunch and the first and second farmers, then I will give their lunch. Then that one, like, the bullying, they start, they're like, them calling they like sometimes they physically take your food sometimes they would ask you for money and if not then that when you know as i said the physical really start to kick in my experience at ep York, i it was not really much of bullying like abuse but more of like the mental struggles where you know just a simple name calling like oh like, look at this like look at this idiot walking by or like big head or something like that because at ep York, you find many different people like with disabilities and this formatting uh, one of my good friends was um, disabled in the eyes, as in he was blind. But no one bullied him. But the but another kid, which had like his head was a little bit shaped differently, and they took that against him and like oh like look at this fool, he has a dent in his head or something like that. I think that bullying isn't something that should be happening because we don't know what um, people are going through. And so bullying each other can cause mental health, health issues. And so I just don't think it is something that we should do. Okay, have you ever experienced bullying? When I went to primary school, I did. Um, I live at Kikaker, um, but it was addressed. Um, I got bullied due to my weight when I was younger in primary school. And I used to come home crying and my mom would always like comfort me about it. but. Um, I haven't experienced it from since then. And the effects of those events stay with these students years later. What's one of the worst cases you've seen? Suicide. Due to bullying? Yes, due wow. to bullying. And what impact did that have on you mentally? It make I wonder like, if I'm in another scenario or in another position. Like, how I may I take it as well if I may I move to that, like, choose to kill myself as well. I haven't like seen a lot of bullying but I have experienced it and it's like not nice like it's hard to get over it like especially like during your younger years like in high school and primary school um, but sometimes people just say like try to defend yourself but it depends on the way you defend yourself so like say someone tell you something like you tell them something about but sometimes it, end up, it ends up going too far and ends up becoming physical. I got bullied on my physical appearance, um, things like my nose, my body, and as a young woman, hearing those things growing up, it's detrimental to your mental health and it has long-term effects that can seriously affect you. Okay, so when I was younger in elementary school, I would get bullied for physical appearance and stuff like that and I think it's just a selfish thing that people do because they don't realize how much hurt it can cause someone. Honestly I do feel bad about bullying. Why? Because I believe that it could be harmful to other people to the point that they want to commit suicide. Okay have you ever experienced bullying or seen it happen to someone? Yes I've experienced bullying um, firsthand and I've seen it happen to more than one person. And these students and one parent all believe that the culture of bullying needs a change. I'm very disheartened by bullying and the consequences to that. Like, for example, you just said that um, due to bullying, a child broke his hip in the high school at SJC and that just upsets me so much. Well, my experience on bullying has been um, pretty vague. Honestly, I don't really pay people mind, but bullying is something that should be like wronged. It should be 
treated with very caution and precaution because people are not sensitive towards other people's feelings these days. They are very obnoxious and many people don't care, especially young people, they don't care about what other people are going through. And when you come to school, I mean, everyone sees you look normal and they just pick on somebody, you know, just waiting for a doormat. At the end of the day, you don't know what people go through at home. And uh, I mean, a smile a day can take a person, you know, a million ways throughout the day. Um, those cases, I think, should be dealt with responsibly and with fair justice. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.